it's Carlene and welcome to my channel. So today we're gonna try out Be My Cushion. So I have read from Yesdal about this brand, Yada, so I'm just gonna read it. Um, Yada was established in 2009 and takes its name from Hebrew word for wisdom. The brand's skincare and cosmetic products mainly use extracts from the Eastern Prickly Pear, which is native to Korea and known for its powerful anti-inflammatory and moisturizing benefits. Manufactured in Korea, the brand's entire range is known to be hypoallergenic and mild and formulated without artificial coloring, preservatives, or chemicals. Okay, so this brand sounds promising, so let's see how this cushion works for my skin. My skin has oily and acne-prone skin. Be My Cushion claims that it gives the perfect coverage with lightweight texture and matte finish. Based on sliding blurry powder, Yada's Air Powder Pack guarantees a flawless, smooth skin appearance covering pores and wrinkles. I actually discovered this in the sales section of Beauty Bar Chinoma. It was priced for 492 and 25 pesos from its original price of 895 pesos. I bought this last December 17 and expiration date is said to be on May 14, 2021. There are two shades available, 21 Light Beige and 23 Natural Beige. I got this in the shade of 23. No testers were available in store and knowing that Korean cosmetics tends to be lighter in shade, I got the darker one. Yada Be My Cushion Foundation contains 15 grams of the product and is packaged in a compact with a mirror and a puff applicator. Yada mentioned that it has a patented mochi cushion for this that helps prevent evaporation of its moisture to ensure that it could be used for a long time. I tried pressing it once and the product came out instantly. There are instances with other cushions that several presses were needed for the product to come out. Trying it at first, it seems that it is darker for my skin tone. So I just did some skincare beforehand, so now I will apply the Be My Cushion from Yada. So I will now apply the foundation on the right side of my face first. So half of my face has the foundation and the other half is bare face. Here's a close-up shot to show it better. As I use it for a longer time and blend it more, it seems the shade is right for me. In my experience, it covered some of my blemishes so I could say this has light to medium coverage. It has a natural finish which I really really like. It wasn't difficult to apply nor to blend it out evenly. I observe it dries real quick after application. It was able to cover my pores and fine lines as it claims it to be. Now, let's try the transfer test with a mask since the new normal is wearing one when going out. I tried wearing a mask after applying the product. It didn't transfer any foundation on the mask even after pressing it on my face. I tried the foundation where I needed to wear a mask the whole day while going out. I already applied the foundation here. This is how it looks before wearing a mask the whole day. I started wearing the foundation at 10.31 in the morning. After almost 9 hours, the foundation is still there. I didn't reapply or do any retouch, although the matte finish is gone and my face became oily. There are some dry patches around my eyes and nose that became a bit cakey. It did last long but some of the product did transfer on my mask. Overall, I think this could be used for oily to combination skin type. If you have a dry skin, having moisturizer before applying this could help. If you try this out, let me know your experience for this cushion. Thank you for watching!